Hello everyone, welcome back to Oni Chan. Today, I will review for you a very hot part of the One Piece movie. In this segment, Luffy's group has reached the most dangerous place in the New World. A place heavily guarded by the Navy and the World Government. Because they are hiding a weapon, with power equal to that of an ancient weapon. Unexpectedly, there is an extremely dangerous and powerful individual. He used to be a legendary former Navy Admiral with absolute justice. He aims to eradicate all pirates in this world, by chance. Luffy's group gets caught up in his plan, so, they have to confront that former Navy Admiral, to prevent his plan of destroying the New World. But before that, Luffy's group was surrounded by a large Navy fleet, making everyone worried, they couldn't understand how the Navy could locate them. Yet, Luffy showed no fear, and he cheerfully said, let's fight, everyone. So, the entire group got ready for battle, however, Nami felt that the weather seemed very peculiar, unexpectedly, as Luffy began to attack, all the navy ships disappeared. Nami explained to everyone, that this was just an illusion created by this area. Everyone thought they were already safe, but unexpectedly, a gigantic rainstorm poured down, causing everyone to panic. Nami explained that this sea area is the one with the most abnormal weather in the new world. Suddenly, the raindrops started freezing. So, the entire group worked together to block the ice chunks, unexpectedly, there was then a snowstorm, Robin immediately used her devil fruit power, to shield everyone from the snowfall, suddenly, the sunny ship was flipped upside down, it turned out the sea was split in two, causing fear among the group, because if they didn't find a way out, they would sink into the sea, but Luffy found this place very intriguing, hence, Frankie immediately activated the emergency escape system, helped the whole group escape from there, thought they were safe, but unexpectedly, they were struck by lightning again, the next morning, the entire group finally escaped from that sea area, thanks to Nami, who had studied all the weather patterns in the new world very carefully, at this point, Luffy started feeling hungry again, so, Sanji went to prepare food for the group, but as soon as he finished preparing the food, Luffy's group rushed in, unexpectedly, they found the food on the plate missing, which surprised them, they didn't know who had eaten it, suddenly, Sanji noticed the soup pot was also empty. Luffy then saw a tiny person running away, so he immediately tried to catch that person. Sanji discovered that all the food in the refrigerator had been eaten up, made Luffy angry, determined to find the culprit. Suddenly, he heard the sound of the person near Brook, so, Luffy immediately ran to catch him. Only then did Luffy realize, that the person was a tiny girl, so he caught her, but she managed to run away, unexpectedly, she was surrounded by the entire group. Realizing she couldn't escape anymore, she enlarged her body, surprising the whole group, as she could turn into a giant, she started attacking, so, Luffy immediately stopped her, and threw her into the sea, suddenly, they realized she couldn't swim, so, Sanji immediately jumped in to rescue the girl, when she regained consciousness, she found herself on Luffy's ship, at this point, Luffy wasn't angry anymore, he found her very interesting, because she could change her size at will, she explained that her name was Lily, belonging to the giant tribe, however, she had consumed the mini devil fruit, enabling her to shrink and enlarge her body, moreover, Lily was remarkably healthy, easily lifted Luffy up, causing Luffy to forget that she was taking his food, Lily also had the ability to enter someone else's body, causing them to explode, but, when she realized that her trick was useless against Luffy, as he's made of rubber, it surprised Lily, at this point, they wondered why Lily was on their ship. Lily explained that while she was waiting for her father, she was accidentally propelled onto Luffy's group ship by a pot of whales. Suddenly, Lily realized her father was in danger. It turns out Lily's father is Pan's Fry, a famous pirate chef in the New World, and his specialty dish is cooking on a volcano. Upon hearing Lily describe her father's dish, it made Luffy quite excited, eager to immediately taste his cooking. However, Pan's Fry was captured by the Navy, because he often stole food from them, to cook for the hungry people. When Lily learned that her father was taken to impel down, she stayed here to rescue him, unexpectedly. The weather here was terrible, causing her ship to sink. So, Luffy decided to help Lily. Seeing everyone willing to assist her, made Lily very happy. On the other side, there is a group known as the Neo Navy. They are ambushing to kill Pan's Fry, because their justice differs from ordinary Navy. Their goal is to eliminate all pirates in the world. On Luffy's side at the moment, they have seen the navy escorting Pan's Fry. He is being guarded by four navy ships. Luffy wants to immediately rescue Pan's Fry, but gets stopped by Nami, as they need a plan beforehand. 
So, Nami and everyone start devising a plan. Luffy, Brooke, Chopper, and Robin form a team to attract the Navy's attention. Meanwhile, Zoro, Sanji, Lily, and Usopp will infiltrate from the rear. To rescue Pan's Fry, Frankie will provide support for everyone on the sunny ship. Nami will maneuver on a small command ship to lead the rescue mission. Thus, Robin's team started moving out. Suddenly, Nami realized Luffy was missing. Robin mentioned he sneaked off with Lily, making Nami angry as he never follows the plan. Meanwhile, Pan's Fry was being guarded by a vice admiral. He was captured for stealing Navy provisions, to feed starving civilians. Luffy's group was now in position, ready to act. Robin used her devil fruit power, to incapacitate all vigilant Navy forces. Brooke transformed into a ghost to intimidate them, recognizing the opportunity. Zoro and Sanji immediately cut the chains restraining Pan's Fry. Nami thought everything was going according to plan. Unexpectedly, Luffy appeared and greeted Pan's Fry. The Navy immediately recognized them as the Straw Hat crew. The Vice Admiral attacked Luffy. So, Zoro immediately stopped him, allowing Lily to reunite with her father. Unexpectedly, he was then attacked, immediately surprising everyone. They didn't know who was attacking. At this point, they were constantly attacking the Navy. The Vice Admiral realized they were the Neo Navy, specialized in hunting pirates. Suddenly, he began attacking Pan's Fry. So Luffy inflated his body to stop him causing him to fall into the water. So, Zoro immediately jumped in to rescue Luffy. The Vice Admiral realized his name was Shuzo. He was once a former Vice Admiral of the Navy. They then began to surround Pan's Fry. Confusing this Vice Admiral as to why they were doing this, Shuzo explained to him that they were the Neo Navy, and their goal was to eradicate all pirates, instead of sending them to impel down prison. That's Z's sense of justice. It surprised the Vice Admiral. As Z is a former Navy Admiral, at this moment, Lily transformed into a giant and attacked Shuzo. However, he managed to evade and counterattack her. So, Sanji immediately intervened to stop Shuzo. When he learned that Sanji was a member of the Straw Hat crew, he ordered his subordinates to eliminate them. Unexpectedly, the Vice Admiral helped Sanji, because he disliked the Neo Navy. At this point, Luffy was also rescued by Zoro, and joined the battle, making Shuzo feel intrigued, because Luffy's bounty is very high. So, he attacked Luffy, prompting Luffy to counter with Gear 2. However, Shuzo easily blocked the attack. Thus, both continued to engage in combat. While the Vice Admiral battled Zoro, Sanji held back the Neo Navy, to protect Lily and her father. Robin assisted Sanji in safeguarding them, making Robin wonder who they are. Shuzo continuously attacked Luffy with his elongated arms. Suddenly, Nami noticed the weather changing, and immediately alerted Frankie and everyone telling them to get ready to leave. It turned out there was a colossal column of waves shooting into the sky. Meanwhile, Luffy used Haki to attack Shuzo, pushing him back, and Zoro managed to repel the Vice Admiral. Just then, Nami instructed Frankie to act, shoot anchoring the Sunny to Pan's Fry's boat. The columns of waves began appearing, as the Luffy's group prepared to leave. Shuzo continued trying to stop Luffy, relentlessly attacking him, Meanwhile, Nami noticed Pan's Fry's boat was too massive, so she intended to use the force of the waves to pull them away. While Luffy and Zoro were still being blocked by the two adversaries, Nami remained watchful and cautious. Realizing the opportune moment, she instructed Frankie to use the emergency escape system, helping them pull Pan's Fry away. Luffy and Zoro also timely followed them. At this point, all the Navy ships had sunk, but Shuzo kept attacking relentlessly to eliminate them, Eventually, he emerged victorious, starting to recall his fight with Ain, to vie for the position of Neo Navy's Vice Admiral. She used her Devil Fruit power and easily defeated him, becoming Z's Vice Commander. So, Shuzo was determined to capture Luffy's group, to reclaim his position. He immediately pursued them, while Luffy's group escaped from the Navy, and they hid in a nearby underwater rock formation. At this point, Luffy asked Pan's Fry to cook for them, but Sanji mentioned they had run out of food. Fortunately, Lily had managed to steal food from the Navy earlier. Even though Pan's Fry was still injured, he wanted to cook for them, as a chef, who wouldn't let anyone go hungry, and in gratitude to Luffy's group. So the whole crew prepared to cook. Unexpectedly, Shuzo had found them. They immediately launched an attack together on Luffy's group. Zoro and Sanji stepped in to intercept them. They thought it was a torpedo. Unexpectedly, they sacrificed themselves, to use the submarine as a torpedo to attack them leaving the Luffy group astonished. 
thinking these guys were completely insane. At this moment, Shuzo appeared as well, leaving Nami puzzled as to how they were found. It turned out Shuzo timely attached a Vivra card to the boat, allowing them to locate Luffy's group. The Neo Marine soldiers continued sacrificing themselves to attack the whole group, for their justice was to eliminate all pirates. Pan's Fry immediately attacked Shuzo, but they were repelled by him. Lily also rushed to aid her father, however, she was knocked back onto the sunny ship by him. Fortunately, Lily managed to shrink back in time, so the sunny ship remained unharmed. When Shuzo intended to deal with Pan's Fry, Luffy promptly intervened and knocked him away. But Shuzo was determined to kill Pan's Fry, so, Luffy continuously attacked him. Unexpectedly, Shuzo easily blocked Luffy's attacks using Rokushiki, and knocked him to the ground. Luffy continued to use Haki to counterattack him, surprisingly, his Tekai technique is indeed very strong, easily blocking Luffy's punches. Luffy realized he was not an easy opponent to deal with. When he was about to use Gear 3, his goat sneakily attacked Luffy, causing him injury. It turns out his goat is a cannon that has eaten a devil fruit. Shuzo then swiftly defeated Luffy, causing worry among the entire group, even managing to defeat Pan's fry. At this moment, Lily instructed Usopp to shoot her into Shuzo's body, and she would enlarge herself from inside to make him explode. Surprisingly, when Usopp just shot Lily away, Shuzo used Luffy to intercept her, causing Lily to end up inside Luffy's mouth. Shuzo thought he had won, unexpectedly, Luffy has awakened and spoken. This fight isn't over yet, suddenly, Lily enlarged Luffy's body, turning him into a giant, which thrilled Luffy, surprising the entire group. At this moment, Shuzo attacked Luffy, but his guns couldn't harm him anymore, so, Luffy counterattacked Shuzo, but he managed to dodge away, because when he becomes a giant, Luffy's body slows down, therefore, he used gear 2 creating a stream of hot air blowing everything around. Shuzo immediately started to fear, continuously attacking Luffy, but he remained unfazed, swiftly jumping up. Shuzo also flew up to chase after Luffy. Surprisingly, he was struck by him with an incredibly fast blow and fell straight to the ground. Thus, Shuzo was defeated by Luffy. Finally, they were able to eat Pan's fries cooked meal, but all the food had gone bad, leaving Luffy disappointed. Nami reassured Luffy not to worry as they could find food along the way to the volcano. At this moment, Frankie also helped Pan's Fry make a new boat, preparing to head towards the mouth of the volcano. Shuzo and his subordinates were tied up. By evening, the vice admiral had found them, deciding to take them to Impel Down Prison. On the Luffy group's side at that time, they were fishing and searching for food. Finally, Pan's Fry was able to cook for the entire group, making them very happy. At this point, Lily and Pan's Fry bid farewell to Luffy's crew and continued their own journey. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Z saw the report of Shuzo being taken to Impel Down. While Ain worried that Shuzo might reveal Z's plans to the Marines, he remained unconcerned, believing that no matter how much Shuzo was tortured, he wouldn't disclose Z's plans, because members of the Neo Marines always stand for absolute justice. At this moment, Z is preparing for his plan. It turns out he wants to wipe out all the pirates in this world at once. So, he has begun to take action. Z continuously orders his soldiers to attack the navy base, to take over Fur's Island. At this point, Z started to reveal himself and said, I will destroy all the pirates in the world. Then Z immediately attacked the navy with tremendous strength, rendering the navy unable to approach him. Ain, Z's deputy commander, also took action, alongside someone named Binz, who has the ability to control plants to attack the navy. At this moment, with his tremendous power, Z easily blocked the attack of a giant and immediately defeated them. Finally, Z infiltrated inside the Navy's base, to obtain a type of stone called Dyna Stone, capable of mass destruction equivalent to the power of ancient weapons. While they were transporting the Dyna Stone out, unexpectedly, Kazaru appeared. So, he fought against Z, both engaged in a fierce battle. Suddenly, Kazaru asked, It's been a while, Master, haven't I warned you not to overly rely on the power of light? Then, both fought at an incredibly fast pace. Despite being attacked by Kazaru, Z immediately countered and repelled him. At this point, Z began to feel exhausted, so Kazaru continued to attack him. Kazaru wondered why Z was after the Dyna Stones, so Z explained to Kazaru that he intended to resurrect ancient weapons using those stones. Unexpectedly, Z held up one Dyna Stone and crushed it, terrifying Kazaru and making him flee in fear. However, he couldn't escape. The Dyna Stone exploded, 
causing a massive blast that destroyed the entire island, made Ain worried about her master. Luckily, Kazaru managed to avoid the explosion. At that moment, Aokiji also arrived, unaware of what the navy was up to. The next day, Luffy's group was still happily celebrating, while everyone was dancing and enjoying themselves. Chopper smelled a very unpleasant odor, causing him to faint. It turns out Usopp was spraying insect repellent. While Sanji was serving drinks to Nami, seeing Nami happy made him very pleased. Suddenly, a cloud of ash fell from the sky, making Luffy's meat taste awful. Nami realized it was volcanic ash, but they found it very strange. Even Nami's eternal pose became quite chaotic, unable to determine the direction. Nami realized there was a nearby dangerous island, so, they decided to hide Luffy on that island. Unexpectedly, he found out, and decided to change course towards that island making Usopp worried, but their captain made the decision, as the navigator, Nami chose to lead the entire group to that island, so, the whole crew set off together, suddenly, Luffy spotted a man drifting at sea, immediately, he informed the group to rescue the man, as Luffy reached out to grab him, unexpectedly, Luffy became weak, so, Sanji and Usopp had to help him pull him up, at that moment, Chopper examined him, and found out he was just unconscious, making the whole crew relieved, but Nami found this old man very peculiar. Robin recognized that his arm was made of sea prism stone. That's why it could weaken Luffy. Sanji said that this weapon was created to capture those with devil fruit abilities. So everyone realized the old man was very dangerous. However, Chopper wouldn't allow anyone to harm him because he's a doctor. So Luffy agreed to let Chopper treat him and said, if he's an enemy, I'll defeat him, making Chopper feel very happy. Finally, Z began to calm down. Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji prepared to fight, because they knew he could bring trouble to them, while Chopper was still examining Z, checking if he was truly okay. Upon realizing Chopper was caring for him, Z promptly thanked him, unexpectedly. Upon seeing Luffy, Z recognized him as the captain, surprising Luffy. Meanwhile, Ain was still searching for Z, using the Vivra card. Luffy was impressed by Z's weapon, so he told them, that when he was young, he lost an arm and a scientist attached this arm for him, made of sea stone, capable of neutralizing devil fruit users. At this point, Luffy said, I hope you're not a marine, because we're pirates. Unexpectedly, upon learning that Luffy was a pirate, Z immediately changed his attitude and attacked Luffy, shocking everyone. He asked Luffy, why do you want to become a pirate? Because I will become the pirate king. Upon hearing his ambition to become pirate king, Z became truly enraged and attacked Luffy, Zoro and Sanji rushed to intervene, despite all three attacking together, but, they still couldn't stop Z. At this moment, Ain and Bins located Z, so they leapt onto the Sunny's ship, and informed the entire group that they were Neo Marines. Frankie immediately attacked Bins, but he controlled vines to bind him, while Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji were still battling Z. Nami was facing off against Ain. Robin tried to capture Bins, but he moved too swiftly for her to catch. The Usopp team intended to jump down to rescue Frankie. Unexpectedly, they also got captured. As for Nami, she was attacked by Ain using her devil fruit powers, causing her to vanish. Chopper immediately got angry and rushed over, and he, too, disappeared due to Ain's power. Even Brooke fell victim to Ain's attack. So Robin intervened to stop her, thinking Nami had vanished. But unexpectedly, Ain's powers turned Nami and Chopper into children. Ain explained her ability as a lifespan reversal reverting anything she touches back 12 years. So, Robin returned to 18 years old, Nami is 8 years old, and Chopper is 5 years old. If she were touched twice more, Robin would vanish, while Z blew away Luffy's group outside. Zoro and Sanji were recaptured by Bins. At this point, Z mocked Luffy's dream of becoming Pirate King, and he recognized Luffy as Grap's grandson, so he deciding to sink their ship, but Luffy didn't give up and said, our fight isn't over yet, he realized they had no time to linger with Z anymore. So Luffy untied Frankie, to allow him to control the Sunny and leave this place. Finally, they managed to escape, on the Navy headquarters side. Upon hearing that Z obtained the Dinah Stones, Akainu became furious, realizing Z intended to destroy three endpoints in the New World. Currently, there is a location protected by the Marines that has been destroyed by Z. If he continued to destroy two more endpoints, all the magma beneath the sea would erupt, submerging the entire new world. At this moment, they needed to plan how to stop Z, because he was a former strong navy admiral, nicknamed Black Arm. 
Akainu immediately ordered the elimination of Z and the entire Neo Navy. Garp also recognized Z's danger, and informed everyone that Z used to be part of their Navy team. Meanwhile, Luffy's group arrived at an island nearby to repair the Sunny ship. At this moment, Chopper felt guilty, for having treated Z's injuries, but no one blamed Chopper, so the group was determined to settle this debt with the Neo Navy. Usopp worried about their strength, but Nami realized they needed to defeat Ain, because that way, she might be able to turn back to her normal body. At this moment, Sanji wants to see Nami grow up, but Zoro scolds him as a pervert, so, both of them started arguing. Brooke also gets touched by Ain, but he remains unchanged, unlike the others. Meanwhile, Frankie is at a ship repair shop owned by an old man. He realizes their group has been attacked by Z, as many pirates have been targeted by Z recently, leading them to stop at this island for ship repairs. Even though he is not a pirate, but the old man really likes pirates, and is willing to help those who never give up on their dreams. Nami realizes they need to buy some clothes, and gather more information about Z. So, the next morning, they caught a train, to enter the nearby town for information gathering. Finally, they arrived at their destination. Therefore, the entire group split up to carry out their respective tasks. At this time, Luffy's group went together for a bath. But because he ate the devil fruit, Luffy immediately felt weak when immersed in water. While Luffy's group was still waiting for Nami's group to gather information. Robin cosplayed as a dancer to sneak into a bar for information. Meanwhile, Chopper pretended to be a shoeshiner. On Luffy's side, he felt that Z's arm was very strong, because it's specifically designed to defeat devil fruit users. So, Sanji told Luffy to let him and Zoro handle Z. But Luffy immediately refused. I will be the one to defeat him. Suddenly, the whole group saw Aokiji here, causing them to be shocked. They couldn't understand why an admiral of the navy was here. On Z's side, he had reached the second endpoint, and was preparing to activate the Dina Stone to destroy this place. While Luffy's group was preparing to fight Aokiji, but he said, I have left the navy, I'm no longer an admiral. At this point, Aokiji had no intention of fighting. As soon as he stood up, it surprised everyone because Aokiji's body had many scars, even missing a leg. In the battle against the Red Dog Akainu, on Nami's side at this moment, they still haven't gathered any additional information, but the whole group managed to earn quite a bit of money, thanks to Robin dancing. At this time, Luffy's group was talking with Aokiji, Luffy was curious why he and Akainu fought, but he refused to answer. Aokiji also noticed Luffy had confronted Z, and told them that he used to be a navy admiral. On Nami's side, she is asking the marine soldiers about Z, so, they told Nami what they knew. Z was also on this island, to destroy the endpoint. Before she could ask further, they were stopped by a marine captain, because he noticed Nami's excessive curiosity about Z. He immediately decided to capture her. Luckily, Robin intervened just in time to rescue her and they escaped. He then realized that Robin is a member of the Straw Hat crew. At this moment, Aokiji recognized that One Piece is the origin of the pirate era. While pirates always pursue their dreams, Z wants to erase that dream. If One Piece disappears, the pirate era will come to an end, and that's exactly what Z wants to achieve. Aokiji is eagerly anticipating whether Luffy can defeat Z this time, so he departs, on Nami's group side, they are still being pursued by the navy, therefore, Usopp promptly uses a meat-eating plant to hinder their pursuit, in the evening, Luffy is still contemplating his previous defeat against Z, suddenly, they see Nami's group pulling the navy towards them, while Zoro and Sanji are preparing for battle, Luffy steps forward alone, he immediately unleashes Conqueror's hockey, causing the entire navy to faint, only the captain remains somewhat composed and recognized, is this Conqueror's hockey? At this point, he informs Luffy of Z's whereabouts, on Z's side, he is engaged in a fierce battle with the marines, and he easily handles all of them by himself, finally, the Dina stone explodes, causing a volcanic eruption, thus, Z successfully destroys the second endpoint, with only one endpoint remaining, his plan will be complete, and he can wipe out all pirates, suddenly, Luffy appeared, he immediately attacked Z. Z then asks, what are you doing here, pirates? Binz and Ain also joined the fray, so Zoro and Sanji rushed to intercept them, allowing Luffy to engage in combat with Z. While both were fiercely battling each other, the volcano began to erupt, it destroyed the town, causing great fear among the residents. When this family was in danger, Aokiji fortunately arrived in time to rescue them. On Luffy's side, he activated Gear 2, continuously evading Z's attacks, and then came the punch at him, but Z managed to block it. Z asks, 
Do you want to become Pirate King? That's right, I will find one piece and become the Pirate King. So, Z continuously shot bullets towards Luffy. However, Luffy managed to dodge them all. He continued to attack Luffy with a powerful blow, causing concern among Nami's group. On Zoro's side, he was battling Ain. While Sanji fought against Bins, they realized that the volcano was about to erupt, and there was no time to stay here any longer, so, they quickly escaped. Meanwhile, Z was still fighting Luffy and pushing him back. However, Luffy persisted and fought back. Suddenly, Z blew away Luffy's straw hat. This caused him to lose focus and get hit by Z's bullets. It turns out that Z's bullets were also made of sea stone, making Luffy collapse. Z took Luffy's straw hat and declared, I will end this era of pirates, immediately. Luffy chased after to retrieve his hat. When Z learned that Shanks gave the hat to Luffy, he seized him and said, even if he is a Yonko, I will erase his pirate crew. This angered Luffy, but he was immediately blown up by Z. At this moment, Zoro's group noticed that the volcano had erupted. Fortunately, they found Luffy in time, and quickly carried him away from the danger. The group tried to run as fast as possible towards the port. However, they realized it was too late. They thought they would be buried this time. Luckily, Aokiji quickly froze everything, helping Luffy's group escape. So, they all managed to reach the port and regroup with everyone. As the final train was departing, the entire island exploded and vanished. On Z's side, he believed that this time he could eradicate the pirate era, and he will bury this straw hat with One Piece forever. On Sengoku and Garp's side, they realized Z's plan was harming innocent people. Kazaru began to act once again to stop Z. At this point, Kobe was curious and didn't know what Z was like in the past. So, Garp told Kobe that Z used to be a Navy officer who strongly believed in justice. Z always took the lead in facing danger, even fighting against Whitebeard and Roger. Consequently, he became an admiral in the Navy. Z also had a family, but one day, pirates killed his entire family, causing him immense pain. Despite the tragedy, Z continued to fulfill his duties as a Navy admiral. He also trained Akainu, Kazaru, Aokiji, and many other Navy soldiers with the goal of creating a hero. However, one day, all of his crew members were killed. He even lost an arm. Only Ain and Bin survived. So the Navy provided him with a robotic arm. This arm was designed to combat devil fruit users. However, the world government invites the one who killed all his crew members, becoming one of the seven warlords of the sea. So, Z immediately left the Marines, and founded the Neo Marines organization, to oppose the Marines and eradicate all pirates. The next morning, Z's forces were preparing to advance to the last island. Aokiji appeared, waiting for Z. Z met Aokiji. He said, long time no see, master, Aokiji immediately threw Z his favorite bottle of sake. Both engaged in a conversation with each other. He advised Z to stop, but Z refused, because he was determined to eradicate all pirates, something the marines couldn't accomplish. Aokiji realized he couldn't persuade Z. So, he immediately prepared to fight his former master. Unexpectedly, Aokiji decided to abandon the fight and leave, because he recognized this wasn't his battle to fight. On Luffy's side, Chopper assisted Luffy in removing the sea stone bullet from his shoulder, while he continued to contemplate the upcoming battle with Z. Nami didn't know how to comfort Luffy. Aokiji suddenly appeared, shocking Nami and everyone else, however, Luffy remained calm and reassured everyone, saying, it's okay, because he had met him before. It was at that moment that Aokiji revealed Z's purpose to the Luffy's group. The goal was to use the Dina Stone. Robin immediately recognized it as a type of stone with power, comparable to ancient weapons. He wanted to destroy the three endpoints of the New World. These endpoints were underwater volcanoes. This revelation surprised the Luffy's group, as they thought it was just a myth. The world government had declared that the myth was a deception. However, Aokiji insisted that it was the truth, meant to deceive the people. Only high-ranking marines knew that it was the truth. At this point, Z had already destroyed two endpoints. If he were to destroy the final endpoint, the entire new world would be submerged in the magma from the underwater volcanoes. Even the ordinary people would perish, shocking the group. At this moment, Luffy only wanted to defeat Z and reclaim his hat, because he had promised Shanks that he would become a great pirate, and return the hat to him. So, Luffy's group decided to go and stop Z. Even though they knew this journey was very dangerous, but they still chose to accompany Luffy. At this point, Aokiji gave Luffy's group an eternal pose. It would guide them to the final island. He also informed the entire group, that the marines had also advanced there. 
so, the battle would be intense, they were not only facing Z, and there were also marines present, thus, the entire group began preparing for the fight, the shipwright immediately provided Luffy's group with numerous weapons, to defeat Z and protect the pirate's dream, at this point, Luffy's group had changed into new clothes, and they were ready to step into the final battle, suddenly, the kid asked Luffy, to become a hero, should I become a pirate or a marine, Luffy immediately replied, pirates aren't heroes, so, do whatever you want, making the kid admire Luffy even more, thus, Luffy's group set off, they were constantly attacked by the Neo Marines, so, Luffy immediately ordered everyone to counterattack against them, just one attack from the Sunny's ship was enough to destroy many enemy ships, and they finally reached the last island, so, the entire group jumped down to the ship and started fighting, they continuously used their weapons to attack the Neo Marines, while Zoro got separated and lost, surprisingly, he encountered Ain again, so, Zoro became delighted and prepared for battle, on Sanji's side, he is battling against Bins, they greatly admire Z, and they don't allow the Straw Hat crew to disrupt his plans, at this point, Luffy used the meat to defeat the Neo Marines, feeling too hungry, he immediately ate the piece of meat, on Kazaru's side, he also realized that the Straw Hat crew had arrived, so, he wants to capture all of them, meanwhile, Z has prepared to use the Dina Stone to destroy the island, and he also realized that Luffy is approaching, while Luffy is still constantly surrounded by the Neo Marines, but he easily defeated all of them, and he used Observation Hockey to dodge the bullets, making it impossible for them to hit Luffy, at this point, Zoro is in battle with Ain. she continues to use her powers to restrain Zoro, on Sanji's side and the others, they are also fighting fiercely, Robin created two large legs, to kick the Neo Marines, while Chopper transformed, and used his Kung Fu point to defeat them, Usopp set up bamboo traps to incapacitate the marines, Nami utilized her weatheria bubbles, creating electric thunderbolts to strike down the enemies, unexpectedly, hitting both Chopper and Usopp, eventually, they managed to defeat all of Z's subordinates, suddenly, the group noticed numerous white-colored pacifistas, they immediately attacked Nami's group, on Luffy's side, he arrived at Z's location, Z asked, are you here to thwart my plan? Luffy replied, no, I'm here to retrieve my hat, because that's what guides me to become the Pirate King, this made Z burst into laughter, so, he was ready to battle Luffy, both continuously rushed in to attack each other, on Nami's side, they were under attack by the pacifistas, fortunately, Frankie managed to assist them, he controlled the general Frankie to attack the enemies, and he easily defeated the pacifistas, while Sanji was battling Bins, he continuously used vines to try to capture Sanji, but he managed to evade them, Zoro kept chasing and attacking Ain, cutting her bullets in half, and instilling fear in her, Zoro then used his ultimate technique to defeat Ain, on Sanji's side, he ignited in flames, and used a powerful kick to defeat Bins, so, he also emerged victorious, at this point, Nami returned to her normal form, making her very happy, Chopper and Robin also reverted to their original forms, but Brooke remained unchanged, they realized they only needed to wait for Luffy to defeat Z, on Luffy's side, he was still fiercely battling Z, using a barrage of punches to attack him, however, Z remained unfazed, so, Luffy continued using gear 3 to push Z back, both continued to fiercely exchange blows, suddenly, some Dina Stones exploded, everyone ran to watch Luffy's battle, they realized time was running out, Z asked, why do you want to stop me? Even if you win, no one will thank you, Luffy replied, I just do what I like, if I can't defeat you, I can't become the Pirate King, unexpectedly, Z's arm exploded, but he still wanted to continue the battle, both then used Haki to attack each other, Aokiji realized that Black Arm Z has returned, it turned out to be his true power, Z consistently pushed Luffy back, despite that, Luffy refused to give up, and counterattacked Z, making Z reminisce about his childhood dream of becoming a hero, in the end, both were exhausted, but Z still tried to punch Luffy, surprisingly, Luffy fought back, neither of them would admit defeat, however, Luffy was completely drained, suddenly, Z also collapsed, at this point, he realized that he has grown old, thus, Luffy emerged victorious, making everyone very happy, they immediately ran to embrace Luffy, Z realized he was a very special pirate, Ain and Bins arrived at this moment, so, Z apologized to them, suddenly, Kazaru and the marines appeared, they realized they were surrounded, causing everyone to worry, unexpectedly, Z decided to step forward alone, because he wanted to help Luffy's group escape, 
When Ain was about to run towards him, Aokiji immediately created an ice barrier to stop them. Because he realized Z had decided to stay here, Z then used his last bit of strength to fight against the Marines, who were once his students. Kazaru used his light to attack Z, causing him severe injuries. However, Z didn't give up. He held off the Marines, allowing Luffy's group to escape. So, Luffy's group left the island, but they still watched Z fighting from a distance. Eventually, Z departed, leaving Ain, Bins, and Aokiji in deep sorrow. However, in the end, he remained a courageous man, because since childhood, Z had always wanted to become a hero of justice. Today's video ends here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to support Oni Chan in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Love you all.